Hello everybody, my name is Beck. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I am currently really really sick so I hope you guys can understand what the hell I'm trying to convey and say and I am trying my best to get this video out on time. April Fools! Actually, I am filming on the 2nd of April so it really doesn't count. It's been raining the entire day and I didn't want to do anything. I was planning to film this early in the morning but here we are so let's freaking start. So like I previously said, I film one of these videos once a month and I go through all the video games that I bought, played in the previous month. So in the month of March, since I was basically under a lot of pressure and a lot of stress, you can probably tell from my nails if they're not painted, it means like the girl is going through some stuff, okay? You can, you can see it through here. That's the first indicator. I don't have a cold but my throat is really sore. It's raining a lot at the moment. The lighting situation is a lot of control. I am using a new camera and if you hear any other noises, my neighbours are blasting their TV. And I don't have any other times to film this so I've got to do what i got to do. Fingers crossed, I am using new equipment so it might sound off, the camera angles might look janky, colouring, the scaling, everything is a mess and so am I. As you can probably tell, there's some repeat offenders this month. I haven't really ventured out doing anything particularly different. If you are returning subscribers, it's basically the same old same old but preview. I do have some Nintendo Switch games, physical, digital. PS5 games and I do have some Steam games, some iPad games and some phone games that I can talk about. Okay, the very first game that I've been playing is Splatoon 3 as per usual. There's actually currently a Splatfest going on. I could be playing Splatfest. I did it yesterday, Team Aliens. If you watch stuff from my book channel, then you know why I picked Team Alien. We're not going to discuss it here. And if you want to know the details of that, you have to go over there, okay? <laughs> anyway, so I've been playing Splatoon 3 because of Splatfest. I only played it yesterday and I've only made it... only played it for two hours. I did stream it on my Twitch if you're interested. Um, sometimes I do decide that since all my friends are streaming, I'm going to stream it too to be part of the party. So I played it with my friend Asia Respect, Rox, and Shushi. And yeah, Team Aliens, what did you pick if you play Splatoon 3 and you join Splatfest? Splatoon 3 is not my usual type of game that I would play, and yet here I am playing this game. I'm addicted to it, I don't know what to say. The next game i like to talk about is Just Dance 2022. I did play a little bit of Just Dance because like I said, I had trouble sleeping, I was under a lot of pressure, so I tried exercising to reduce stress. And you're thinking to yourself, you really play this game. This is exercise, okay? Don't judge me. Yes, I play Just Dance. This is the only form of exercise I'm willing to participate. I was just looking for some like light exercise, play a couple of songs because I do enjoy listening to music and there's a bunch of K-pop options here and I listen to K-pop. I like K-pop. Okay, dancing is a lot more enjoyable than actual ring fit kind of workout and I wasn't trying to cause an injury so I play a little bit of Just Dance and I think they're gonna stop producing Just Dance games. Um, one of my friends told me, I think it was Asia that told me about that. I'm not sure how accurate that is. Um, let me know down below if you know anything about it. But I played a couple of songs because I was under a lot of pressure and I needed to sleep desperately and I was trying everything to reduce like stress, making myself fall asleep, making myself tired. So I played Just Dan. I attempted to play Octopath Traveler 2. I saw my friend Marco recently finish this game in its whole entirety and here I am, barely starting it. I only opened the game to have a little look at the classes on stream and that's about it. I haven't had a chance to play it and now the game is 20% off and it's driving me insane because I could have saved money. I didn't buy it for like full retail price, I bought it on a discount but still I could have just got it for cheaper because I didn't end up playing it because I was so under stress like I said and I'm kind of jealous of Marco because he finished the game and I'm like oh, damn I really need to start this but there's so many other things that I want to do in my spare time and just there is just not enough time in the day to do things now and I am sick so I don't absorb information as much as I should be and I feel like it'll be a disservice to play this game while I've been sick right now. My throat is killing me if you couldn't tell by me struggling to speak more than usual. 
which is hard to believe. But I really, really wanted to play this. I only opened it for a little bit, had a look around, and that's about it. Uh, next is Fire Emblem Engage. I did open and play one map, but I did finish this game. So all I'm doing is playing the DLC on my new file. And I play on the easiest mode because I really don't have time to like use my brain and go through the pain and suffering. The easy mode is already, well easy normal mode is already like painful enough. Yeah, I'm just like playing the DLC. I did buy this season pass. I am weak. I bought it. So far the content has been great. There is no marriage system in this Fire Emblem. If, I think I've said it multiple times before. If you're interested in story, turn-based kind of game kind of like rpg with a sense of chess and this is the game for you i don't know how else to describe these sorts of games but this is like a jrpg turn based just dance is just just dance you dance with joy con or if you have like a ps4 or ps5 you use your phone or an xbox a splatoon is just baby cod I don't know if that's controversial to say, that's how I would describe it. And last but not least, this is one of the games that I've been anticipating for so long. It's the Final Fantasy music game, I cannot say this for the life of me, Rhythm Final Bar Live. I wanted this game for so long. I do have the 3DS version and I love this game. I've been telling Daniel how much I wanted this game but I just didn't want to pay full price. And finally, it went on sale for $20 off, and I was like, it is my time. I just needed one sale to justify this, because they were selling this for almost $90, 90 Australian dollars, and I, I couldn't buy it for $89.95, and I know music games go on sale. I know it's going to go for cheaper if I wait even longer, but I really, really wanted to play it. I'm struggling to breathe at the moment. Give me a second. Anyway, so I've had this game, the 3DS version, for a very long time, and I constantly play it, and I used to, like, randomly whip it out and play it, because that's how much I love this music game. If you are a returning subscriber, you already know that I love music game. If you're new here, I love music game. I love rhythm games. They're my jam. And this is so fun. It has, like, if you're a big Final Fantasy fan, Especially for the OSTs and music. Great. It has most of them. It has like great Final Fantasy 14 songs and all the classics. And um, it goes up, yeah, it goes up to the latest game, if I'm not mistaken. Super, super fun. I play expert mode. I can't play the hardest difficulty. I'm in the middle. I haven't tried out rank yet. I'm kind of petrified. And originally I was debating whether or not to get this on the PS... Five, but I prefer portable games. No, no, I prefer the portable versions for music games because it's just like a lot easier and I can play it docked if I buy the Nintendo Switch version. But the thing about this freaking game is once it went on sale for $20 off, it was completely sold out at my local EB games and the one near my workplace. The one near my workplace is like one of the biggest EB games in the entirety of New South Wales, which is my state. And I was like looking for it and I had to order it online either way and I had to pay shipping for it. It kind of cancelled out <laughs> in the end but shipping wasn't that expensive, it was like 5-ish something but I was right there in person at EB Games, I wish I could have just like picked it up. But I think I just spent a good 5 minutes complaining about paying shipping than the actual game in itself but if you are a big music fan, this is like one of my favourites. I do love Final Fantasy music. I wouldn't say I'm the biggest Final Fantasy fan out there. I, I played some of the games, but I don't think I've actually finished a single Final Fantasy game. I mean, I've always given up and watched somebody else play, but I like the music games. God, I am horrible. Um, it looks like I've been crying. I have not. It's just the throat really hurts and my eyes are watering because of that, but I'm not crying. I don't think I actually have a cold. I think I'm just like stressed out of my mind and I'm finally like calmed down and the weather changes don't help my situation and now I'm like suffering the consequences and the aftermath of everything. But in terms of the physical Nintendo Switch games that I played, I played Splatoon 3, these. But I am, I'm so happy for this game. I really wanted this one. Yeah, I played it for like an hour on my own and then I streamed it for like an hour on stream on Twitch 
And yeah, fun times. And the only digital game that I bought from the Nintendo Switch is the Almost Gone for the Nintendo Switch because it was like $3 randomly one day and I just picked it up. I've seen it around before on Steam. I think it was Steam and I just didn't want to pay full price so I waited for it. So it was like $3 and I picked it up. I think it's a story puzzle game if I'm not mistaken. It looked cute. It was on my wish list. I saw it on sale. I picked it up. That's all the justification I needed. I didn't really play any games on the PS5. I only played the demo version of the Final Fantasy music game that I've been talking about. The through them, this one. Um, I played the demo on the Nintendo Switch as well to like test it out which version I should get. That's the only PS5 game I played. But I did buy a PS5 game because I couldn't justify just buying one game from EB Games. So I bought this one as well. I bought let's build a zoo plus the dinosaur island i didn't realize they had the dlc version as well so i picked this one up i haven't played it yet i bought it because it was on sale and i wanted to justify my shipping i didn't just like want to buy one single game and not like i have a spending problem but anyway i it looks like a really cute fun game i like management sims if you couldn't tell as well and it looked cute that's all the justification I needed and it was also on sale and I needed it to cancel out my delivery fees with something else. So, I don't think I actually mentioned Steam last month, but Steam for this month, I bought Final Fantasy XIV online. I have it on my PS4 slash 5. I wanted the PC version because it was on sale and most of my friends do started playing it for some reason and I just was like, now it's the time. I accidentally activated my free trial. Final Fantasy XIV is an online subscription model based MMO RPG for Final Fantasy and I have previously played it on my PS4 but for some reason it won't work and won't connect and I figured out that since it's on sale on the PC version slash Steam I might as well just like grab it off there so I activated the trial I play like like on my Steam it says I've been playing for nine hours but in reality six of them were spent downloading the game so I've only played like three hours with my friends and rocks and I did stream it on Twitch once again. I bought Final Fantasy 14 plus the N Walker. I haven't got to that part yet because I haven't beat the base game. I've only been playing it for three hours and Rox has been like boosting me up and like helping me with the baby quest so I'm kind of slowly but surely speed running it. I have played it a little bit on my own but I do have to like make another character so I can play with my Australian friends because I tried jumping servers and it apparently didn't work so I'm just gonna have to make two different characters, two different class so I can play with my American friends and my Australian friends. I also have a friend, the same friend Marco who beat the entire Octopath Traveler 2 game who basically lives in Final Fantasy 14 and I want to be, I don't want, I'm kidding. Um, all the best for you, but I do want to like survive and live. I'm like sick and I'm not trying to make myself even worse. But I want to see what the addiction is about. I want to be part of this community. I can see why people can get addicted to it. I have previously played it. I only stopped because nobody was playing with me. And I realized, in fact, that a bunch of my friends in real life actually play the game. So it's over for me, besties. And moving on, I did buy Farm Together, the whole entire DLC pack, because it was on sale for like $15. And I know it's a really old game, and I already have it for my Nintendo Switch with questionable hours. Questionable. $15 for the entire D DLC packs, all of them, and I'm supposed to say no. My friend Cheesy told me to buy Farm Together on Steam, and I promised them um, that I would buy it once it was on sale. And like a true friend, <laughs> like a true friend with a spending problem, $15 for the entire base game plus the DLCs, all like 10 plus packs of DLCs for 15 Australian dollars. It's a no-brainer. So I can now play Farm Together in pristine condition. Like the one on the Switch is a bit janky but the PC version is like more refined and it's so nice to have all the packs on the PC version. It's great. It's also really bad because I have so many games that I could be playing but here I am revisiting my addiction. If you don't know what Farm Together is, think of Farmville but elevate it. That's all you need to know. Do not look into it if you have an addictive personality. It will not serve you well. And last but not least, I bought Garden Galaxy. It's like the same concept if you've ever played like an idol kind of game except it's like based around decorating a garden. It's great. 
if you love idol games. If you don't what if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. Do not look it up. Save yourself. That's about it in terms of Nintendo Switch, PS5, and my Steam. I've only played those kind of games and not for very long because I simply did not have time and I am currently still sick and trying to recover. In terms of my iPad, I've been playing Bang Dream, but it's quite on and off and quite Quite honestly, like I said, throughout this entire video, I've been busy, so I haven't really been paying attention to the events, but I did open it up today and I paid, played a little bit of Bang Dream, which is a music game once again. It's free. It's a medley at the moment, which I am not good at because you have to play three songs in a row. I'm usually so stressed out because I have to play three songs in a row and I'm going to mess up eventually with one of them. If you get full combos for all three songs, maximum rewards. And I've also been playing a little bit of Twisted Wonderland. I went back to it. It is a phone game based on Disney villains. And I'm in on and off with it. They had a Zumu Zumu event, which is the only reason why I went back. But I didn't complete it in time, which is such a shame because I switched phones. And that's the reason why. I really can't think of anything else on top of my head. I haven't been doing much for the past couple of months, like I said, because of the, like sudden changes in my life. Getting sick. I am doing better. I know this is very deceiving, aside from the sick part. But this can be easily remedied. I just need to like rest more drink more water take medication like it's fixable besties take care of yourself it is getting colder here in sydney which i'm looking forward to because i hate the heat but the change in the weather is really throwing me off and i apologize for the last couple of videos it's been like pretty snippy pretty short and there's not a lot of content so to speak but i don't have anything that glamorous to update and i think i play pretty much the same games over and over again I don't, and I really need to like go through my backlog because this is bad but anyway I need to film a second video for today for my second channel which is the book channel if anybody's interested I guess most people aren't but I'm letting you know that that's a thing and after that I can finally lie down I'm also thinking about playing like more Final Fantasy in terms of the MMO RPG and the music game I really want to play those two things um, before my weekend ends but anyway stay safe and stay hydrated and stay healthy. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. If you have anything you'd like to say to me, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more content, hit the bell for notifications on this channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.